All right, in this video, we're going to do a word problem that makes use of linear programming to help us find a maximum value. So suppose a refinery makes gasoline and fuel oil, sells gasoline for a dollar a gallon, fuel oil for 90 cents a gallon, and this refinery can make at most 600,000 gallons a day, but it's got to produce at least two gallons of fuel oil for every gallon of gasoline. Suppose also we know that at least 150,000 gallons of fuel oil must be produced each day to meet the current demands. We want to know how much of each type of fuel should be uh, produced to maximize the daily profits. So we're going to try to set up a little system of uh, equations and inequalities. So um, I'm going to let x be the number of gallons of gasoline produced. And again, that's over the course of one day. And we'll let uh, y be the number of gallons of fuel oil produced. All right, so to me, we're trying to maximize the function. Maybe we'll call it p. Well, it says you get a dollar per every gallon of gasoline, so we'll get uh, 1 times x, plus, okay, you get 90 cents a gallon from the fuel oil, so we'll get uh, 1x plus 0.9 times y. That'll be the function that we're trying to maximize. But we've got some constraints here, okay? So uh, one thing, obviously, x would have to be greater than or equal to 0, and y would have to be greater than or equal to 0. You know, you've got to produce at least 0 or more of each type. We know the refinery can make at most 600,000 gallons a day. Well, that means that the number, if we take the number of gallons of gas, plus the number of gallons of fuel oil, that will have to be less than or equal to 600,000. And then let's see, a couple other uh, restrictions. It says you have to produce at least two gallons of fuel oil for every gallon of gasoline. Okay, well let's see. Um, so we have to produce two gallons of fuel oil for every gallon of gasoline. So to me, that says the number of gallons of fuel oil would have to be greater than or equal to twice the number of gallons of gasoline. So I think this is going to be our, um, our inequality that relates um, the fact that we have to do two gallons of fuel oil for every gallon of gasoline. And then last but not least, it says we have to make at least 150,000 gallons of fuel oil. So to me, that says that y would have to be greater than or equal to 150,000. Okay, so these are going to be all of our constraints. Definitely, I think probably this uh, y greater than or equal to 2x, that's to me is kind of the, the trickiest little constraint the one I have to think about. I know there's a 2 in there somewhere, um, you know, so be careful there. Uh, but once we have our, our constraints, I think we can just go about graphing. And hopefully we won't have too much trouble here uh, to come up with our region. All right, so let's see here. So again, the fact that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0, I know that when we graph, we're going to be just in the um, you know, sort of top right quadrant. Well, let's see. If we were to graph this inequality x plus y less than or equal to 600,000, Again, I'm just going to make it equal to 600,000. Well, that would be y equals 600,000 um, minus x. Um, let's make our units here. Since our values are pretty big, maybe we'll make them in 100 thousands. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll say this is 600,000. Okay, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This will also be uh, 600,000. Well, we've got a y-intercept of 600,000, a slope of negative 1. Um, that's just going to go over 1, uh, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1 unit, over 1 unit. So it's going to hit the x-axis here at um, x equals 600,000. And again, we could take a test point to figure out whether we shade above or below. But notice if we test the point 0, 0, 
If we plug 0, 0 into our inequality, we'll get 0 on the left, and definitely 0 is less than or equal to 600,000. So in that case, we'll be shading down and to the left on our inequality to get the region satisfied for our inequality. Let's see. Um, y greater than or equal to 2x, if we graph just y equals 2x, well again we could write that as y equals 2x plus 0. So that's just going to be a line with y-intercept of 0 up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Let's see, so that's definitely going to hit um, our other It's definitely going to hit our other line at some point, and we'll figure that out here in just a second. Um, but again, we wanted y to be greater than or equal to 2x. That was the original inequality. So again, I need to figure out um, you know, whether I shade above or below for um, to find the region that satisfies this inequality. So again, maybe I'll just take I'll take any point that doesn't that, that's not sitting on the line. So let's see, maybe we can use uh, this point right here. That would be the value 0, comma, and since things were in terms of uh, 100,000, um, that would be the point 0, comma, 100,000. Well, if we plug that into our um, inequality, we'll get, we'll have to ask ourselves, is 100,000 greater than 2 times 0? Well, yeah, definitely, so that means we're going to shade um, above that uh, line to get our region that satisfies that inequality. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to figure out this point of intersection here as well. And it looks like we're going to need this to me. Um, all right, so let's see. So we've got the line y equals 600,000 minus x. It's also sitting on the line we said y equals 2x. So I think I'm just going to do a bit of substitution here. If we replace this y with 2x, we'll get 2x equals 600,000 minus x. So if we add x to both sides, we'll get 3x equals 600,000. If we divide both sides by 3, we'll get x equals 200,000. All right, so my graph's a little bit off, but this is what happens when you do them by hand. So it says the x-coordinate is 200,000. The y-coordinate that goes with that, again, we could just substitute it into either, um, into either one of our um, equations. If we plug, uh, plug it back into our y equals 2x, we'll get, well, y equals 2 times 200,000, so we'll get the y value of 400,000. Okay, so we now know this point where they intersect is 200,000 comma 400,000. All right, I think we had one more inequality. It said y had to be greater than or equal to 150,000. Well, for that to happen, again, our units are in 100,000s. So 100,000, 200,000. Y equals 150,000 would just be a, a horizontal line. Okay, and since y has to be greater than or equal to that, we would shade above the line. So in summary, I think our little region here that's going to satisfy all of our inequalities is going to be this little uh, four-sided figure that's kind of flush up against the flush up against the y-axis. Um, we almost have all of our points. Uh, this is uh, the point 600,000. We figured out this point of intersection, which is 200,000 comma 400,000. Um, we said that this was the line y equals 150,000. So I know that that's the point 0, 150,000. The last thing we need to figure out is this other corner point in the bottom right. Well, we know again it's sitting on the line y equals 150,000. But then what other line is it sitting on? Well, it's also sitting on this line y equals 2x. So if I plug in, uh, if I plug in that y is 150,000, I can solve for x by dividing both sides by 2. And if we divide both sides by 2, we'll get that x is 700, excuse me, 75,000. 
So all right, I think we've got our four corner points now. Um, and again, so a lot of uh, a lot of little things here, finding all these points of intersection, and again trying to make a decent graph. So let's see the points that we're going to have to use. Let's see. I think we had zero comma six hundred thousand. We said we had zero comma one hundred fifty thousand. We had the point two hundred thousand and comma four hundred thousand. And then it looks like our last point down here was seventy five thousand and one hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, so those are the points we're going to use. Again, we're trying to maximize this p equals 1x plus 0.9y. We're trying to find the maximum value for that. So let's see here. Um, if we plug in 0, 600,000, it looks like we'll get our profit to be, well, 1 times 0 plus 0.9 times 600,000. And that's going to give us 540,000. Let's see. Um, you can plug in 0 and 150,000 if you like. To me, this is clearly not going to give you the maximum. I mean, you're, you're using a smaller y value than what we used before. So, um, you know, I, I'm not even going to check that one. That's clearly not going to work. Um, if we plug in the point 200,000, 400,000, Again, our profit in this case will be 200,000 times 1, or just 200,000, plus, and then we'll take 0 0.9 times 400,000. Well, that's going to give us 200,000. Uh, 0 0.9 times 400,000 is going to give us 360,000. And if we add those, it looks like we get uh, 560,000 as our profit. And the last value we have to use is our 75,000, 150,000. But again, I'm not even going to check that. I mean, we're making less gasoline than before. We're making yet less fuel oil than before. So there's no way that's going to give us our maximum profit either. Again, you can check if you want to make sure. But in this case, okay, well, it looks like our biggest value we're getting out is 560000 So to me, this would be the max profit that this company can make in one day. And again, to do it, they should make 200,000 gallons of gasoline and 400,000 gallons of fuel oil.